Okay, so this is the Stella James Martin Cleaver. It's five and a half inches, 38 quid, but I've looked online, you can get it for about 26 quid. Um, suitable for chopping, mincing, slicing, dicing, dishwasher safe, easy to sharpen, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look at it. So here the knife is in the flesh. Uh, friends asked me to sharpen this. It was a bit rusty and um, a bit unloved when I got it, so I've, I've cleaned it up and um, just need to sharpen it now. So if you look at the spine, is um, super thick. I've measured it; it's just below four millimeters, about three point eight, three point nine millimeters, and it's fully flat. I'm like until this until here the first bevel starts here on both sides so up until that point it's still nearly four mil and then we've got the first bevel and then the secondary bevel uh, it says it's easy to sharpen but these the secondary bevel is actually asymmetrical so it's not the same on each side different angles which I think um, well, for me, certainly, that's harder to sharpen and for a novice than I think it would be be a bit of a task. Um, yeah, so on the website it says, I'm thinking, yeah, big-ass meat cleaver, really, isn't it? Bone, like, go through bone. It's more akin to an axe than a knife. Um, but checked out the website and it says it's suitable for, like, all kitchen tasks, like slicing and dicing. Um, and obviously I do need to sharpen it, but I've given it a quick test and it is terrible at slicing. Yeah, absolutely woeful. I may as well use like a butter knife or a spoon or something. So I'm going to get it sharpened up. I've got these um, six inch chef knives I've made to sharpen up today as well. And uh, yeah, I'll give it a little test out, see if it does any better once it's sharp. So I've got all these knives sharpened up now. I've got my three six inch chef knives and I've got this cleaver. You can hear Bailey eating his dinner in the background. So you know what that noise is. Okay, so yeah, I was pretty ready to give this knife um, an absolutely scathing review, to be honest, and um, maybe even go as far to say that James Martin is a complete sellout putting his name on this. But I've had a quick cut of a cucumber, and I might be ready to change my mind. So I I decided not to follow the. Um, the angle of the the secondary bevel and now you can see now this is the secondary bevel now that I've put on which on um, one of my knives on, on a normal knife say kitchen knife they get called either the secondary bevel or a micro bevel as you can see on that knife you can barely see it so this is uh, in no way a micro bevel it's huge so the reason it's huge is because I've decided to put a more acute angle on the knife edge there, uh, the secondary bevel. And I've done this because that's what it's more um, of an angle that I'd expect to see on a kitchen knife. And it's, um, I think already from the tiny bit of cutting I've done with this, I think it's already massively improved this knife. Um, from being less like an axe and more like a knife. So the only issue being that now um, to sharpen this knife, then you sharpen this, this whole surface. Um, so you're removing a greater amount of steel. So you know, in theory, that's going to be harder. And it was, it took ages to sharpen this knife like that, but I was almost, you know, making a new edge. Um, okay, so, yeah, this is a really cheap 
in comparison to a handmade knife, it's a really cheap knife, so it shouldn't really be compared, but right here I've got a block knife cleaver, vegetable cleaver, which is um, tool steel, I want tool steel, it's one of the knives that inspired me to start making knives. Um, as you can see the spine there is um, there's about 2mm I think, maybe slightly over, and um, I haven't actually sharpened this in ages but the secondary bevel is a micro bevel because the blade's so thin behind the edge. And uh, that's the blade geometry is that even if this knife is blunt really but it'll still cut things quite, it'll still slice um, just because of the blade geometry which is um, why I find this knife so interesting that uh, they've used so much steel because uh, I don't know it, how expensive the steel was but that's really thick steel and so like what was the reason they used all that steel um, yeah, I might show you again a flick through the um, photos on the website because it shows it cut in like a red pepper and an onion which I'm going to try now and it makes no mention of chopping bones um, which I could understand why the why it was sharpened the way it was and why it's built the way it is if it was a bone cleaver but apparently it's not so I'm not going to well I'm vegan anyway so I'm not going to do that but I'm going to test out some veg now and see how it does okay so I'm going to get some stuff chopped up uh, ready for tea um, I am, I maybe do a bit of this as well and the block knife and I know it's not a fair comparison really but um, this knife's completely dull worse than this knife was before I sharpened it but it's just really for me to compare what a knife that I consider has good blade geometry without without it being sharp and a knife that I consider to have pretty terrible blade geometry um, and just see how they how they feel, what's the difference so I'll start with this one James Martin's yeah I'm kind of not sure what to say. It's not as terrible as I thought. But... Um, there's still a lot to be desired, I would say. Okay, so I'm going to try and uh, dice this onion to the fine. See how we go. So it's, it's not great for dicing because it's splitting the, the, the blade so thick it's sort of fanning the onion out. But it worked, it worked, it didn't. I'd also point out it's um, it doesn't feel nice with the pinch grip, not to me anyway. So I'm not using it. Okay, well, can you see that? Yeah, it worked pretty well. Um, it wasn't that pleasure that you get with a good knife, but it worked. Let's try this one, the block knife. So yeah, I mean, that really needs sharpening, but still, 
It arguably felt a bit nicer. Okay, so the uh, end result is pretty similar. This one made me want to cry a bit more. This is obviously bruising the onion as it went through. I guess this is winning so far then with the sharp edge, but um, still. Let's uh, cut some pepper. Okay, um, yeah, again, this one actually cut a bit better because it's sharp, but the whole experience was a lot nicer with this one. Um, yeah, let's cut some more things. I actually just peeled this really awkward bit of ginger, shaped bit of ginger with it, which is quite impressive. clunky to use, but it's growing on me, and um, yeah, I do think changing the angle at the second bevel helps a lot. So, uh, funny shape on the back as well. I like, I like that. I fiddle with different designs like that myself, and then, um, but it always annoys me when you come to scrape off some off the board. You don't want to blunt your chopping edge and do it. But you can't do it. So a knife like this, block knife, the flat edge, and just um, scrape it right into your pan. And you don't have to worry about damaging the end. So, uh, boring, I guess, but functional. I like the flat back edge. Spine. So, uh, what can we conclude? I haven't quite decided, to be honest. Um, do I like the knife? It's okay. Would I buy it? I don't think so. It's 26 quid. Boy, I'm the type of person that spent nearly 400 pounds on a block knife, so... Yeah, the, it cuts things. I've made a meal, I'll show you. I'll show you that. I'll cook up a delicious meal with it. Um, 
but you're not going to be grinning away as you're cutting your veg as you would with a, a freshly sharpened handmade knife by someone that knows what they're doing maybe even me if you want to get one off me um, so yeah it's I guess at 26 quid you sort of or 38 quid on their website you're sort of actually getting out of cheap knife realm but in terms of um, handmade knives and stuff it was super cheap um, the steel on that thing is so thick it probably I, d I don't actually remember what the steel is called I've never heard of it but it must be fairly cheap because for me to buy a steel that thick it probably cost me 26 quid just for the steel uh, for one cleaver so yeah it's not as bad as I thought it was feel a bit harsh now um, it's not as bad as I thought it was is a bit of, <laughs> bit of a shit review uh, it is what it is maybe it's a bit fairer it's a 26 pound knife and it's got interesting blade geometry um, and the only value I could see in, in it is it had good food release because the blade was so thick until like, the first bevel that it kind of pushes the food away because it's, um, it's also kind of splitting the food instead of chopping it but yeah I find it really curious as to why it's advertised on the website as like a slicing, dicing all singing knife uh, but to me the blade geometry just suggests that it's like a bone cleaver like a butcher's type cleaver but um Yep, I don't know everything, so... Anyway, let's have a look at what I cooked up. So I've made a sort of katsu curry sauce, rice, roasted cauliflower and tofu. And yeah, uh, tastier than it looks, I think. Everything always looks really good in my head, and then I plate it up, and then... No. Anyway. This has been the review for this, Stella. James Martin Cleaver. I'll not say much more than that. Uh, these three knives are available, so get in touch if you want to buy one of these six inch chef knives. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care.